One of the simplest things we can do to be more productive in our gardening is a soil analysis. Soil analysis is going to tell us our pH requirement and it's going to tell us how to do that so that we can release more of the nutrients to the, make them available to the plants and it's going to give specific recommendations for the plants that you grow. The results of a soil analysis are really only as good as a sample you take and we need to take multiple samples so this video is going to show you how to take a good quality soil sample. In this lawn there are at least three separate zones that we want to look at for taking a soil sample. The first is the turf grass area, the second area is the vegetable garden, and then the third area are these azaleas. Each of these have different needs and they're treated differently, so we're going to take separate samples for each of those. Each of those samples we're going to go and we're going to collect a number of subsamples from those and mix them all together so we have a representative of that whole area uh, of what the nutrition needs might be. We don't really need very many tools for this. You can use just some sort of simple digging tool like this spade, a plastic bag, for, or perhaps a five gallon bucket for mixing your subsamples. So let's go ahead and take a soil sample. All we really need to do is dig a small hole here, uh, about uh, four or five inches in depth. Uh, chop it up there with the, with the spade. And then we're going to remove that soil. Set it aside. As you can see, we've got a hole here that's about four inches deep or so. And what we're going to want to do is take a sample of that from the surface to about that four inch depth. And we're going to pull that soil out all the way. We don't want to drop any of that because that's, that's going to tell us what the nutrients are all the way from the top to the bottom. And the next step is we're simply just going to take this soil and we're going to put it in our little mixing bag here. And now we're going to go through the rest of the vegetable garden and collect our samples. Now let's just mix all these up and we can take and we'll have a sample we can take into the county extension office for our vegetable garden. Here we go, final product.